Hi students, today I am going to explain how to measure the diameter of the wire using screw gauge. Screw gauge, it is a device, we have a two scales. One is your pitch scale, another is your head scale. In the head scale, we have 100 divisions. In the pitch scale, the separation between two lines is in millimeter. If you want to get one division, if you want to move one division in my pitch scale, I have to rotate complete cycle, one complete cycle in my head scale. So, using this device, I am going to explain how to find the diameter of the wire. So, first of all, I am going to explain what is mean by a least count. So, least count is the minimum distance, is a minimum value we are able to find using this device. So, I will explain how to use this device. In the pitch scale, we have a division it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the head scale, we have a 100 divisions. So, this is start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is going to be 95. So, the total number of divisions in my head scale is 100. So, this is your pitch. So, now I am going to explain what is meant by a least count. So, least count is the ratio of the minimum value in the pitch. So, the minimum value in the pitch is going to be 1 millimeter divided by the number of divisions in the head scale. 100 is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter. So, this is the minimum value we are able to measure using this device. So, now I am going to explain what is meant by error in the screw gauge. So, in this case, my pitch scale line is exactly coincided with the 0. There is no error in this device. So, here error is nil. So, the 0 error is nil. In case, sir, I have a device with error. What is happening? So, I have a pitch scale here. I have a pitch scale here, we start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, something like that. So, I have a head scale. In case my 0 somewhere here, 1, 2, 3. So, in this case, this error is called positive error or 0 error positive. zero error is going to be plus three. So, I have to correct my reading. So, zero correction is going to be minus three. So, I will explain how to correct this later. So, now we have a another case. It should be something like this. So, so we have a pitch scale zero, one, two, three, so, in case my 0 somewhere here, we have 1, 2, 3 here. So, this type of error is called negative error. So, 0 error negative. So, I may write my 0 error is going to be minus 3. My 0 correction is going to be plus 3. So, I am going to, I will explain how to find the diameter of the wire using this screw gauge. Now I am going to explain how to measure the diameter of the wire. So I have a device with a positive zero error. So here my head scale is not exactly coincide with the pitch scale. So we have a error 5. So the positive error should be plus 5. So I have to correct this in my final reading. So now I am going to explain how to calculate the diameter of this wire. So, I have a wire, I am going to connect this wire here. So, I have to tight. So, I have to tight till the sound. So, in the, my pitch scale, there is no reading shown except your 0. So, your pitch scale reading is 0 and then your head scale coincidence with my pitch scale is said to be 55 in this case. Okay. So, pitch scale is in 0, head scale coincidence is said to be 55. 
So in this device, we have a zero error equals to plus five. So we have to correct this value, zero correction equals to minus five, and then least count of this screw gauge is 0 0.01 millimeter. So first of all, I'm going to form this table. So my pitch scale reading, H scale reading, and uh, the corrected H scale reading, the total reading equals to pitch scale reading plus corrected H scale reading into list count. So in our case, we have a pitch scale reading is zero. My corrected uh, my head H scale reading 55. So my error is positive plus five. So I have to correct my reading. So this is my corrected H scale reading is 50. So my total scale reading I can simply write pitch scale reading plus corrected H scale reading into list count. So this is nothing but my 0 0.5 millimeter. So this is how we are going to find the diameter of the wire. So from this diameter of the wire, we are able to calculate the radius of the wire. So diameter we are able to find is my 0 0.5 and then the radius of the wire we can calculate 0 0.5 divided by 2. So I just stop at this point.